Here are three signs that God approves of a relationship. The first sign is that if this relationship is increasing your motivation for ministry, this is a good sign that God does approve of this relationship. If you want to know what God wants for you specifically, you have to first start with what God wants of all Christians generally. You have to take what the Word of God says to everybody and then through the power of the Holy Spirit, apply those specific truths to your life. In John 13 verses 12 through 14, we have a clear example of what Jesus wants for all Christians. He, it says, when Jesus had washed their feet and put on his outer garment and resumed his place, he said to them, do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. So clearly, God wants all Christians to be servant-minded and to show their love for God through their love for other people. So if you want to know if this relationship is something God wants, does it help you accomplish the general things that God has for you, like ministry and like service? The second sign that God approves of a relationship is if it's fulfilling the purpose of Christian dating. So believe it or not, I don't believe that God is displeased if you date someone that you don't end up marrying. I believe that wise Christian dating is a, is a process that's used to gauge whether or not a man and woman want to become a husband and wife. So the purpose of Christian dating is not to marry the person that you're dating. Rather, the, the purpose of this specific season is to figure out if God does or doesn't want you to marry this person. So if you start dating someone and then God makes it clear he does not want you with this person in marriage, you fulfilled the successful goal of Christian dating. Or if you realize, yes, God does want you and this person to get married, again, you've accomplished the goal of a healthy season of Christian dating. It's not wrong to date someone and feel led by God to actually date someone. You pray about it, you feel released to do so, and then maybe weeks, months, maybe even a year goes by, and then you feel like God's saying, you know what? I actually want you to break up. This isn't what I have for you. That doesn't mean you missed God's will in the beginning. God often reveals what he wants for you in relationships through the process of Christian dating. Certainly he can reveal his will in other ways, but that's one way that he does it through actually interacting and figuring it out by going on a, a short journey together in life. And then you realize, you know, this isn't what God wants. So I say all of that if that if you're in a season of healthy gauging I think God approves of those relationships. The relationships I don't believe God approves of is when you know you're in a relationship God does not want. For example, if you know there's sin taking place and it's just getting worse and there's no repentance, that's not a good sign. Or if if uh, you know that God is telling you, this is not what I want for you, do not be in this relationship, and then you do it anyway, that's not what God wants. But if you're just unsure, that's the point of Christian dating. So in summary of point two, if you know that you should get married, you should get married. If you know you should break up, you should break up. If you're not sure if you should break up or get married, you should keep dating. That's the point of Christian dating. And so if you're in a healthy season of gauging and using Christian dating properly, then I believe God approves of that relationship even if it doesn't end in marriage. The third sign that God approves of a relationship is if it's biblical and wanted by both the man and the woman. In short, there are two biblical requirements for marriage to take place. The first one is that it has to be in alignment with God's will, meaning his revealed will in scripture. If it breaks some clear command in the Bible, then God does not want that marriage to take place. However, a biblical union is not always what is not always the the relationship that God wants you to be in. Just because there's not an obvious sin to marry someone doesn't mean, oh yeah, that's the one God wants you to marry. The other biblical requirement for marriage is desire. You Marriage, uh, romance, 
All those types of relationships are not biblical commands. They are not requirements in scripture. They are biblical options for those who want them. So if you want a relationship and it's biblical and you and the person you're dating are like, yeah, we really love each other. We want to be with each other. And the relationship is fulfilling the biblical requirements, then that's something that God wants for you. If it's breaking either one of those, if it's not biblical or one or two of you don't want the relationship, then then God doesn't want that for you either. It says that um, in 1 Corinthians 7 verse 36, that's basically what it says. He says, if anyone thinks that he is not behaving properly towards his betrothed, if his passions are strong and it has to be, let him do as he wishes. Let them marry. It is no sin. So notice the emphasis on personal choice there. If you want to get married and the relationship is biblical, God approves of that union. Tap the subscribe button if you want to grow in Christ during your season of Christian singleness or if you want daily Christian relationship advice. I'm Mark from ApplyGodsWord.com. Until next time, God bless.